together. Number one won't be your your jersey number this year. Have you settled on a uh, on a number? No, not yet. I haven't even thought about it. But uh, yeah, figure that out later. <laughs> what have these twenty four hours been like for you? Uh, hectic. Um, since the pick, you're pretty much running around making the rounds. Media it's with you, in Nashville, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, flew flew out early this morning, so haven't got much rest, but it's all good. And this has it been emotional for you? When I saw the emotion yeah. your brother showed, did that surprise you? And how have your own emotions been? Yeah, I mean, you, there's moments where your emotions get you, like when I got to my after party and was hanging out with all my friends and family. That's when you really, um, when it sinks in. Um, when you're getting attacked by media and going around, it's kind of like you kind of suppress your emotions for that time. But, uh, I mean, just it was great to experience that all with my family. Did Joey's reaction surprise you? No. He's an emotional guy. <laughs> Under that I saw rough it. exterior. <laughs> I saw the, the video where I think it was the moment you found out that seemed like a particularly emotional moment. What, what was going through, through your mind, um, you know, for those 30 seconds right after you found out? Um, relief, um, just excitement. Um, it's kind of like everything flashes before you, like all the work you put in um, to get there. It's, I mean, I couldn't be happier with um, where I ended up, so. That made me even more excited. Like you know, try and get too um, committed to one team in the process. But I was, I was all in to come here. I was really excited. So um, yeah, just all those emotions hitting you at one time. Nick, what kind of background did you do on the 49ers, uh, just in terms of the story of the legacy here with the franchise and the roster that's that they have in place? The line you're joining. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the best roster. Um, for any team that's picking that high. Um, obviously, they had the injury last year, which allowed them to pick that high. So I think it's it's pretty awesome that I'm joining a team that's already um, assembled a pr pretty darn good squad. So, And I mean, just playing here, seeing the Super Bowl trophies around, uh, it's definitely pretty cool. When you, got injured, when you got injured in October, were you worried that that was at stake, that being drafted high now was was uh, at risk at that point? Um, yeah, I mean, whenever an injury happens, uh, a lot of bad things go into your mind. Um, whether I'd be back that year, my Ohio State career was over, um, if I wasn't going to be as high a pick as I hoped, uh, all those things. But uh, once you think it through with your family and talk to the, the people you care about, um, you kind of set up a plan, and uh, you just have to think positively after that. Given the fact that you also overcame an injury in, in high school to become a dominant player in college, did that help you with this process to knowing that to stay positive this time? Yeah, I mean, um, it could seem like the end of the world for somebody whose life is so um, dependent on football and um, revolves around football. So um, it's definitely tough, but. Um, like I said, just just even giving my high school coaches a call, talking it through with them, um, it, it makes a it, it makes getting through it a lot easier. Nick, you said relating to some of the social media stuff that you said some things that were insensitive. Can you understand why some folks would would find it to be offensive? What was definitely, said? Yeah, I mean, I definitely made some um, insensitive decisions throughout my life and uh, I'm just excited to be here with a clean slate. Um, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody. Um, I, I definitely didn't intend for that to be the case, but um, I think me being here is even better for me as a person because I don't think there's anywhere, any city that you could really um, be in that would help you grow as much as this one will. Um, I'm going to be surrounded with people all all different kinds, so um, I'm going to grow as a person and I'm going to be on my own. College, you have kind of like that, um, you still have that support system around you. Now I'm here, I'm going to be on my own, I'm going to grow up, I'm going to learn a lot of new things, so um, 
exciting. Uh, you said about <coughs> Colin, you called him a clown. Um, and as a black man who was giving a voice to people who don't have a voice, um, do you still feel that same way? Um, no, it wasn't directed towards that. Um, it's not like I'm saying his stance and what he was doing. It's not what I was calling um, or talking about at all. It was just me, a specific thing that happened, and me as a young kid, a thought popping into my head, and boom, decided to tweet it out. Bad, bad decision. Um, I mean, I respect what he's done. Um, if it empowers anybody, then he's doing a good thing. So, um, yeah, I apologize for that. You see the irony that you end up in San Francisco, given that? Uh, yeah, it is kind of ironic. What do you have to tell your teammates? Do you feel like there's a part of you that needs to explain kind of some of those posts that you made on social media and how um, they view you, accept you? I think once I get in and I meet the guys and they, and they learn who I am, I don't think there's going to need any explaining. I think uh, they're going to see who I am as a person, and that'll be enough. Why, why did you feel the need to, to scrub your tweets and your previous tweets and social media posts that um, kind of revealed a, a certain um, mindset, if you will? It's, uh, it's kind of what, what prospects do a lot of the times. Um, my agent took control of my social media when it comes to that, so I wasn't going through and saying delete this, delete this, delete this. He just went through and deleted whatever he thought would rub people the wrong way. And um, I didn't think people would take that as me trying to hide things, but um, yeah. How is your use going to be going forward, Nick? Are you going to be very hesitant to do it? Or are you going to be more, um, more about constantly putting your opinions out there? Yeah, I've learned a lot in the past couple months, so I'm definitely going to think a lot more before I, I send something out. Anybody got anything else? Nick, Nick, I see your mom and dad are here. Is there anything that you're looking forward to doing first in San Francisco now that you're here, finally here? Probably just go get some food, check out <laughs> the city. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure my mom will find some good spots for us to go eat. So. Have you been able to talk to Chris Kassarek yet? Huh? Have you talk, spoken to Chris Yeah, I just did. Sitting back there, staring me down. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we, uh, we talked on the phone last night, and he's jacked up, um, and I'm jacked up too, so it's going to be a, f a lot of fun. Now, you say you're jacked up, but you seem very, very quiet and reserved. Can you talk about the different sides of you then? Um, I mean, yeah, my emotions kind of are deceiving sometimes, or how I act. Uh, I'm definitely kind of monotone, quiet, but uh, when I get out on the field, I take some of that aggression out. <laughs> Nick, you, you, you touched on it last night a little bit, but John Lynch called it an indelible moment at the, when, at the Rose Bowl when uh, you went and visited with, with your teammates. What, what do you remember specifically about that day and just why it was so special? Was it special for you? I mean, when you're, whenever you're around your college teammates um, for so many hours of the day. You go through camp together, you go through a season together, or multiple seasons together. You, you just build a really close bond, and when you aren't with them for an extended period of time, it's kind of weird. And uh, just after months of not seeing them, just to see all my teammates was really awesome, and see all my coaches. So um, I just love all those guys. So to see them again was great. And then I get to meet with the, uh, Adam and John, so it was a little foreshadowing. And, and that was your first introduction to them? Yeah. What, what did you guys talk about? Um, just um, trying to think back. I think it was just like a friendly conversation. Yeah. Talked about some of the guys on our team that they might be looking at. Nick, were you uh, surprised by, I mean, John, <clears throat> it was so indelible just because everyone kind of stopped practice. Urban Meyer generally doesn't let that happen. Um, were you surprised by that reaction in the moment? 
No, I mean, I think uh, I was a pretty big part of the team, and uh, I think I built a lot of really good relationships there. So um, I was hoping for a good reaction. <laughs> no. Spending all that time with your brother in Southern California, is there is there anything specifically you picked on in terms picked up on in terms of being a professional and what the everything away from the field that mindset is gonna is gonna look like for you? Yeah, just uh, maintaining your body, eating right. Um, he's got a chef out there, so she's a, she's amazing. She cooks, comes over like once every couple days. So just the nutrition and maintenance he has a gym in his garage that he built so um, just constant maintenance throughout um, the NFL season is key How, I, I assume you're happy to, to be you know a short plane right away I mean does it doesn't mean anything to you to, to be close to the same state <laughs> yeah like definitely I mean whenever we have some off time I could just zip down there and go hang out with him so it's definitely better than me being across the country and not being able to see him for months on end do you view your game as similar to his? And if there's a, a big difference, what do you think it is between the two of you? I think we play pretty similar. Um, I think we're both, um, we use speed and power, and we're not one-dimensional players. So I think, yeah, we have a lot of similarities in our game, but um, I'm just excited to start my own journey and show off some of my att attributes. Yeah. Nick, could, you, could you have uh, returned and played last year? Yeah, I was, it was a season ender for sure. Well, while you're rehabbing, uh, how much NFL did you get a chance to watch? And did you watch D Ford and, and DeForest Buckner uh, on the yeah. game last year? He was uh, on the Chiefs, so he played Joey twice. So I was watching him. Uh, I, I like what he does. He's really, really great speed rusher and um, he switches it to power and it'll knock you on your butt. So I'm just excited to get with some guys that have been in the league for a while and know the ins and outs and the tackles and just, um, just pick up tips from them and um, show them some of the stuff I've learned as well. All right. Thanks, folks.